What's going on YouTube? Today we're checking out a Holt Blade Works uh, haptic. Now this guy is pre-owned and I wanted to kind of just show you this before it actually went out the door. Uh, so it might not be a huge uh, huge video today but uh, I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So anyway, I wanted to get this filmed for now. So as you can see they come in this really nice box. Now this guy has been pre-loved but uh, opens up as such. You get this nice little envelope in here that has a bunch of information around, I think it's like an NFC tag, so you can scan that with your phone. And then what it'll do is actually tell you uh, a lot of information about that particular knife, which is kind of a nice little touch. So maybe what I'll do is just show you that card real quick. So there you go, whole blade works, and then you tap it with your phone. There's also an Allen key inside uh, for adjusting. Uh, it has a bit of an adjustable detent, which is super, super cool. Okay, well, let's take a look at the knife itself. And remember, these are super cash, so if I make any mistakes, then uh, I apologize in advance. All right, so this is the haptic. Um, as I mentioned, it is previously loved, so it, uh, the anodization isn't perfect. It's kind of got some uh, little marks here and there. Also note, I'm still dealing with my uh, finger that I kind of hurt, so I've got some Paw Patrol Band-Aids on. You know, pretty cool. Nice little name brand flex there. Uh, also on sale, half price, but whatever. Um, so let's take a look at this knife. So it is a flipper. Nice little action on there. Ooh, the, the, the light makes it look real nice right now with all the different angles. And it's kind of hard to show this, but the milling on here is just incredibly done beautifully done different uh, different color pocket clip as well which uh, is very fitting I think it matches the back spacer if I recall yeah so pocket clip back spacer the fit and finish is tremendous now I originally bought this as my first checkout for whole blades um, I have never seen one in hand I never I've never really didn't really know what to expect other than everyone praises them talks about how good they are and uh, I just didn't know what to expect so I picked this guy up on the used market to check out and uh, you know I'm really impressed other than the only thing holding it back for me is the size it's uh, it's more of a medium handed knife and uh, I, I tend to kind of err more towards the large uh, I don't know if that's just me or what but uh, Talking about size, let's take a look here. So overall length, we're coming in at uh, right around seven and a half, maybe a hair under. Uh, the sharpening on the blade, three and a quarter, I would say, which is pretty cool. So not a huge knife. I would kind of put it into the same class as like a small Sebenza, a little bigger than a small Sebenza, I guess, but kind of similar. Um, in that kind of size. It is bigger, the handle's wider. Uh, it, it's a thicker knife. Uh, comparison, my trusty bug out as well. So there you go, very bug out-esque size. There you go, that's actually a really good size comparison in terms of overall length, but not so much in the, uh, the widths department. It's a lot thicker, as you can see. Um, what else would I compare, compare it with? Um, in the same category, I guess, I would kind of put it with like a Trevor Burger Urban. Um, in fact, one of the reasons I originally wanted to try the haptic was Knife Nerdery uh, is all about this uh, Trevor Burger Urban and he loves the haptic. And I can kind of see why I, I get his train of thought on this because they're very similar in sizes and you can kind of see the handle for you know fitting your hand in there you know just the nice rounded off edge versus the uh, the urban very similar now uh, I will grab a, a neon as well just because that's uh, kind of in the same class I'd say so there's your sheer gore neon similar right but to me the carry profile on this see how it rounds on the back here and in your hand how does that work? Well, 
there you go, my, my finger kind of falls off of it a little bit. And I'm an extra large glove, whereas on the Neon, and honestly it's a very similar knife, uh, the Neon kind of just fits, and I have room to spare. So, very Neon-esque size-wise as well. So, I, I, think, I think that's kind of all the comparisons I'm going to kind of show. But, um, anyway, let's get into details. Uh, these guys, as you can see, really nice, kind of a sheep's footy blade on there. Uh, it is a hollow grind, very, very nice hollow grind. Ergo-wise, it fits your hand super, super well. This is one thing that I, uh, on the Holtz, um, the ergos are dialed. Like, just the rounding profile of the actual uh, handle itself. Like, it's not flat, it's all rounded around. And it's very difficult to kind of show that with a camera. But all throughout, it's all rounded off. And hopefully the light you can kind of see, you know, all around it. It's like beveled and um, just really well done. So it fits the hand really nicely. Uh, for me, it's a little small. I'd love to take a look at, I think, the, is it the Morpheus? That's a little bit bigger. Or do they have like an XL haptic? I, I, it's been a while since I've looked uh, on what, what their, their lineup is. But uh, also some nice jimping on top of the blade. That's always appreciated. Um, you know, if a knife fits your hand, you don't really need jimping, but it's also, you know, on a knife like this, I, I don't know if it's really needed. Um, it's more of a dressy knife and not a heavy user, so, you know, if you're wearing gloves, I, you know, it's going to feel small anyway. I dig this little swage on the top of the blade as well. That looks really cool. And just from a stock perspective, you know, when you're looking down on it, kind of gives it that rounded bow look to it um, which is which is a, a nice little touch just it looks different even though you know it is a standard standard blade it just has that cool look from the top view which is always super cool um, it runs on bearings and very smooth ones at that uh, fires easy nothing nothing crazy like the action on these is, they're just incredible um, I've always loved uh, the old stuff. Uh, super smooth. Uh, in terms of that backspacer, look at the milling work on there. Oh, the attention to detail. It's just really well done. Really, really well done. Pocket clip is also machined. And, uh, you know, they match the backspacer on there, which is super cool, like I was kind of talking about earlier. Uh, in terms of profile on it, you can see it's got a nice little Nice little clippy clip on there. Uh, you know, it might do some pocket damage, but in, in no way is it sharp or anything like that. All the detail work on this is well, very well done. No hot spots, like even the clip, when it's in your hand, it's even rounded. So when you're holding it, you know, it fits nicely in your palm. Uh, very, very well done. Hardware, I'm looking at this going, I'm, that might be pretty big, that might be a 10 or it might be a T10, and then on the back here, those look like 8s, if I'm guessing. So bigger on the main pivot, which is cool, always appreciated. It is a, it is a liner lock, I should probably have told you that in the, in the first place. Uh, liner lock, really cool, really smooth. You know, for me, the action is always like, if it's untouched, will it drop on its own? I don't want it to, but if, uh, you know, if you give it a little kick, you know, it should fall down on its own, which is always nice. Um, yeah, very, very smooth knife. Definitely like that grind. A very nice hollow grind. Uh, ergos are awesome. Yeah, just overall, just a nice, beautifully well-finished, well-made blade. Um, on the inside, do we have any milling? Let me grab my little light. And take a look here. Hopefully the camera can pick up anything I, my eye can't on this, uh, Two inch screen I'm looking at, but uh, there is definitely a little bit of milling work on the inside of this. Not, not a ton, but there's a little bit to take some weight down and probably add balance. You know, if you're holding in your hand, yeah, it's back heavy, so maybe they did a little milling for that purpose, so it's not too too far back heavy, I suppose. So yeah, overall really comfortable. Definitely uh, has a good feel, good fit and finish. Uh, complaints. What would I complain about? Well, I've kind of, I've kind of already mentioned what I 
I shouldn't say don't like about it, but um, I, I personally wish it was a little bigger for my hand, but that's also me. And it's also a, a mid-size kind of knife, in my opinion. So, you know, complaining about the size on something that is already meant to be this size, um, I don't think I have a leg to stand on with that. Um, so that's that. Um, that adjustable detent system, I thought it had something, I can't really recall how that works. I'm assuming I'd have to take it apart. Uh, and I could be wrong, I might be confusing this knife with something else, but I thought for some reason it had an adjustable detent system, which is why it came with that Allen key. And I think all it would do, if I'm looking at this, is I can see there's a little Allen key right here on the, on the liner lock. So I'm assuming as you tighten that down, you're adding tension to it, which would push harder against the detent which would make it not as false shutty. So yeah, that would make sense. Just thinking out loud. But yeah, real nice, real nice action, real smooth. Bearings are, oh. Hope they can hear that. I've got a microphone down by the camera, so I might do a couple drops, drops and pops just to kind of hear some stuff. So not a loud, not a loud one. Very quiet, controlled, very smooth. Good action, yeah, great knife. Absolutely great knife. I would, uh, you know, I would welcome another one of these into the collection, certainly at some point. Um, I'd like to try something a little on the larger side of what they make, but they're just so hard to find right now that, uh, you know, guys are getting, for the most part, above table uh, or at table. You know, it's a small outfit um, out of the U.S., so all made in the States, which is awesome. Beautiful knife. And then I should probably say, where is it on here? That's a nice little spot for it. Hopefully you can see that. M390 right on the, uh, right on the handle. And maybe what I'll do um, while I'm talking here, just because I'm sure people want to know, uh, on that NFC reader. Uh, you know what, maybe I won't do that. I don't think my phone's even in here, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll overlay what the uh, what the NFC reader says, because my phone's not uh, right beside me, so I can't scan it, but uh, I'll overlay it on the screen after the editing side of things, and I'll show you what it looks like, but uh, this guy is the... There's kind of a couple lines, I think there's a prestige and... is it reserve? or something like that, I can't really remember. Uh, there's two kind of lines, one's a super dressy, more limited run, and the other is uh, just their standard, uh, you know, high-end production line. And uh, so this is that, this is the uh, high-end production version for reference, if anyone cares. But uh, that, my friends, is the Holt Haptic, and uh, beautiful, beautiful knife at that. Really impressed with it, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like that video. I apologize it's not as long as normal, just because I'm in a bit of a time crunch right now, and I've got to get out the door and uh, get some things done. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to get this one up uh, when I film it. Uh, hopefully next time my finger's not in this uh, Paw Patrol Band-Aid, and I uh, apologize about that, but uh, it is what it is. Otherwise, uh, you know, what do you guys think of the channel? Good, bad, ugly? Should I change the format? I'm all new to this. So if there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know. Um, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. I don't it doesn't really matter, but let me know. Just give you feedback. <laughs> all right. Have yourselves a good day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Cheers.